Hey everyone, this is Massimo and today I am proud to show you the results of months of work around a device called Raspberry Pi. This is the system I'm going to use today. There's a lot of wiring. It's not that uh, complex system, but uh, it's just to show you you don't have to renounce to anything uh, when it's related to the Raspberry Pi. The only thing you have to be careful is that the, the Raspberry Pi it has a very limited CPU but you can, have, you, can, you can achieve nice results with it. So let's see how this system is composed. So this is the Raspberry Pi, it's a very low powerful um, ARM device. I have it connected to, um, on this way, a powered hub uh, because the, the Pi has uh, USB ports limited in current so it is not able to handle uh, quite properly some particular devices like uh, the DMX adapters. So there's a powered hub here. Then I have uh, a Korg Nano Control which is a MIDI device. Uh, to show you that uh, you, you can still use uh, MIDI devices, MIDI USB devices uh, like you do on your computer. There's a, a tablet uh, connected to the web interface um, available through the Raspberry Pi. And then uh, the Raspberry Pi is of course uh, powered here and uh, this is the SPI port it's like a serial port but uh, with uh, particular uh, speeds and, and a way to transmit which is connected to uh, uh, this is a homemade um, RGB panel it's 16 by 16 and uh, for a total of 256 pixels uh, for a total of 768 DMX channels um, it has power plug, power adapter, and then um, from the hub there's a, a DMX adapter here, it's a, a Nantec open compatible uh, adapter, everything is in, in the connector as you can see, uh, which goes into four fixtures, these are Chinese fixtures, um, there's a moving head, um, a, a, an LED bar with four RGB white uh, uh, 10 watts LEDs and then a part, another very small part. The Raspberry Pi is also connected through my uh, through an Ethernet cable uh, to my um, to my router over there. Okay, so um, let's start to see what you can actually do with it. Um, so here it is. I've got prepared uh, some scenes some um, it, it's an Italian but okay um, some scenes to show you how it can control uh, the panel and the DMX traditional fixtures so let's start from the uh, from the fixtures here so if I hit play okay I've got my fixtures running this is a chaser a uh, very simple chaser which, loop, which loops through uh, some presets, color presets. Um, okay, I can um, start another scene to move the heads, like this one. So I've got the heads moving and uh, colors running. And if I disable it I can show you I can control the fixtures from um, from the the MIDI adapter as well I don't remember where I mapped it how here it is so now I'm moving the the bars and everything uh, let me just turn this off okay I'm moving the bar with the nano control here there's a fader mapped Okay, very simple and very responsive as you 
have it on a PC. I can control the intensity of a scene, so let's turn this around a bit. Um, now I can control the intensity. As you can see, it's uh, pretty responsive. It's like okay, and then. I have also mapped a couple of buttons to control the colors. I don't remember which one I mapped actually. Oh, there we go. This is another, this is an animation uh, possible with uh, RGB matrices. matrices. Uh, it's very simple as well. I can move the heads while they're actually looping through colors. These are just examples, I mean, nothing really uh, special or, or difficult to, to obtain. Okay, let's turn this off. And this one. Okay, let's see um, the funny, I mean, the entertainment part, which is the RGB LED panel. So I've got a preset, another chaser here, with uh, that will loop through um, some presets to show you the, the capabilities of the panel itself and uh, uh, how the Raspberry is capable of handling a lot of channels um, in real time. So let's play it with the the web interface and there you go on this kind of animations the CPU of the Raspberry Pi is around 30% I mean the colors are a little bit uh, not uh, let me see Okay, the camera is taking a lot of brightness from the from the panel, but uh, it's. I mean, th this is a Raspberry Pi controlling it. So I was saying wh when when you have these scenes like writings, with text scrolling, or or um, presets like this one, uh, the Raspberry Pi CPU is around thirty percent. It all depends on the speed and how many pixels it has to move. These kind of scenes instead are the ones that consume a lot of CPU. So you have to be careful. Uh, right now it's, it's fading between more than 700 channels. So the CPU is, is, is quite... Uh, the CPU usage is quite heavy. Um, I can, of course, uh, let's stop this, I can, of course, um, start more scenes in parallel. So, for example, I have the writing and then I can turn on the another scene over it and the same for uh, an image animation. As you can see, when I, when I am um, cross-controlling to let's say heavy um, scenes the, the CPU is is not doing quite well as you can see the, the writing is slowing down when I enable another scene but it's not that bad I mean it depends on what you have to do but it's kinda nice if I do this here there's no no a big lag and then for example the vertical fold now I am controlling it through the the MIDI the Korg Nano control uh, when I have this stuff running so for example I have the writing of course I can um, where is it I can start up my uh, let's okay so this is the the whole system it's 
composed by three universes. Two universes are on the RGB panel and another universe is for the other four fixtures. So right now the Raspberry is controlling everything I've got here and it seems it's doing quite well. As I said, you don't have to renounce to uh, the connections possible with QSC Plus. Actually, you have one more, which is the SPI um, interface, which is dedicated to particular devices like this panel I've got here. So you won't find it on a PC, but uh, you need to do some manual uh, soldering and wiring and and uh, cabling to to have it running. But I mean, it's supported. It's working, as you can see. So no problem for it um, okay I'm gonna stop this stuff because it's kind of blinding me okay uh, it's pretty a mess got too many things running okay uh, last thing um, okay the web interface as you can see it's uh, kind of running last thing um, I want to show you the um, OSC interface. Okay, I've got Touch OSC here, and my tablet is connected on my Wi Fi network. So if I move the. Here, if I move the. the fader on my tablet. I am controlling the my moving head pan and uh, it's pretty uh, real time, no lags, it's through Wi-Fi and then I've got also the tilt for the two of them uh, which is here, no this is not actually the tilt but it's a magenta scene, ok let's come back here and I can control it from, from okay there you go it's magenta for everyone a lot of light but uh, the raspberry is doing fine I mean you need to experiment with it because it's uh, you will sooner or later you will find uh, its limits but you can do already a lot of things it's uh, very nice it's, uh, you can have very nice results and um, so you just need to experiment this is a technological preview that means that what I'm showing here today it's not yet um, ready to be released or to be published um, there are some things I need to uh, work around or or fix because they actually are related only to the Raspberry Pi so you'll have to be patient and wait a little bit more thanks for watching and bye